Okay, you guys, we'll do a 20 minute workout, how to get veins to pop out of your arms really fast. So um, I have a few different exercises. I have about four different exercises that we'll do. Um, if you can do this whole workout from start to finish, you're gonna get really veiny arms. So let's get started. The first exercise that I'm gonna do is finger extension. So we'll do 20 reps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This kind of just warms up um, your forearms, your biceps, gets everything going. 10 second break. A lot of my videos, I do 15, 20, 30 second breaks, 10 second breaks. That's all we're doing this workout. It's gonna be very tough. Let's do some twists, 20 reps. I know a lot of you guys love the twist exercise and I know a lot of you um, always kind of make fun of me. They're like, oh, you always do twists. You always do twists. You always do twists. I love twists because I feel it directly in my forearms. It's one of the best exercise for your forearms. Take a little break. I am cutting weight to you guys, so I'm super happy about that. Um, and yeah, we're gonna uh, squeeze this. So what this is, is you literally just squeeze your forearms like this. So three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 10 second break. Um, so yeah, starting at about 197. Um, goal obviously would be to get to about 175, but we'll see how it goes. I'm eating 3000 calories a day. Okay, so we are gonna do the squeezes again. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, let's do 20 reps. 20, 30, 14, 15, 16, 17, And again, how hard you squeeze is how hard you can make the exercise. If you just go like this and don't squeeze, you can do 100 reps. Squeeze really, really hard. And yeah, we got the veins. Yeah, okay, we'll do um, twists. So 20 reps. It's crazy though, when I get down in the 170s, my vein and my vein definition and my ab definition just gets insane. Same with my um, my uh, my striations, they just, they get insane. So finger extensions, one, two, three, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 10 second break. I'm just gonna have a little coffee. So I'm super happy about that. For me to cut weight, like to cut two pounds a week, I need to eat about 3000 calories. So I will be consuming 3000 calories. I actually consumed 3000 yesterday. Today I'm gonna consume 3000 calories as well. Finger extensions again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Perfection. 10, 10 second break and we'll do it again. Okay. Let's do uh, the claw stretch. So to do a claw stretch, I'll just explain real quickly. You curl your fingers like this and then you hold this position. So hold this position for about, we'll say 10 seconds. So again, really, you gotta squeeze with these, really squeeze and just hold them up like this. This puts a ton of pressure on your forearms and it's a great stretch to do. Okay, we'll do a 10 second break and then we'll do twists again. And again, I just mix all these exercises in there, but I kind of know how each one feels. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of, what I'm doing is I'm kind of making one exercise and then we're gonna kind of fatigue ourselves with that exercise and then the next exercise I do, it uh, it kind of piggybacks off the other one that I did. So, um, boom, 20. 
I also have um, lately been allowing my videos a little time to grow. So instead of posting three videos a day, I've been posting one every two or three days. I find a lot of people really aren't on YouTube every single day. So they might come back on YouTube in a week and see me have like 20 vids posted. So I'm trying to lower the volume a little bit, but increase the, the total time I'm doing it for and increase the, the quality a little bit too. Boom, 20. Okay, 10 second break. I'm gonna have some more coffee. This will be a 20 minute workout. Keep in mind, since we're doing so many repetitions, I would say by the end of it, you're gonna probably be doing over a thousand repetitions in the 20 minute time period. So squeezes one, two, I find squeezes is probably one of the hardest exercise to do because it's based all on how you're feeling. Sorry, it's based on how hard you squeeze. If you don't squeeze really that hard, then guess what's gonna happen? It's not really going to um, work as good. So you gotta squeeze really, really hard. It makes the exercise so much better. Okay, uh, 10 seconds and then we will go again. Okay, next exercise that we're gonna do is we are gonna do hammer curls up and down. So to do that, all you do from the side is you go like this. And you can see, look at that forearm development, you guys. And again, this forearm development, this is at 197 pounds. When I get down to 175, oh my goodness. 10 second break. I'd say about 185, I start getting like really ripped. That's kind of like the range where I get like really ripped. Up until about 190, it's okay. But when I get to the 180s, preferably mid 180s, that's when I really see a lot of definition. 13, 14, 15. Perfect. I don't know about you guys, but these 10 second breaks are really starting to affect my forearms. Like I'm getting pretty fatigued right now, but we're gonna continue to do it. Finger extensions, 20 reps. Perfect. 10 second break. I would say like to do this for 20 minutes, to do the, uh, these exercises without breaks would just be insane. Like I don't even know if I could do that. Like my forearms would just be so sore. Oh yeah, 10 second break. Okay, we're gonna do a new exercise now. This is gonna be curls. So all you do is go like this, and then you curl. And you can see the forearm development. Five, six, seven. Again, if you guys really, really wanna see the development of my veins when I get to a lower percent body fat, 170, 175, then have a look at my Instagram, DylanBerg999, um, the first post that you'll actually see, or the newest post is me when I was very, very, very shredded. Okay, we'll do, um, let's do um, claw stretch. So hold this stretch for 10 seconds. And again, really make sure you squeeze really, really tight, and then you just hold the stretch. It's a great, great exercise to do. I love this exercise. So again, make sure you are following along doing this exercise. Just follow along with me at home. Just 
just literally what I'm doing, just copy it, just let the video play, copy what I'm doing, and you're gonna have a, a, a great workout. So let's do some finger extensions. So one. Twenty. Perfect. Ten second break. Okay, we'll do the, the curl. So one, two, three. And again, all you're doing is you're curling your wrists in. Okay, 10 second break. Over halfway done. So if you guys have been following along this far, great job. Um, when the video is done, comment in the, the, the comment section. I wanna know if you guys did the whole workout or not. Okay, next exercise is gonna be finger extension, so. Perfect. Okay, we'll do twists. I'm actually starting to sweat a little bit, okay. A 10 second break, then we will do another one. So again, we've been doing twists, finger extensions, finger curls, we've been doing claw stretch, and then the forearm curls. We've been doing five different exercises. I just like to keep mixing them up and just shocking your arms. Booyah, 20. Okay, we'll do uh, finger curls, so one. Oh yeah, 10. Okay, we'll do a uh, twist. Perfect. Then we'll do the claw stretch, so. Hold for 10 seconds, it's good. Okay, we'll do finger extensions. Perfect. Okay, we'll do forearm curls. So one, two.
I know there's sometimes too where people would be like, oh, these exercises are so simple or this workout really isn't hard. You can make this workout harder. You can make it super easy. I know how to make this workout very, very simple. What you do is on the finger curls, you don't really curl that hard. On the finger extensions, you don't extend as far as you can. On the forearm curls, you don't squeeze as hard as you can. You need to be making sure that you're doing this with high intensity if you really want to feel it. Uh, like doing this, we'll do 10 curls, one, two. After I do three of these, I'm squeezing literally as hard as I can squeeze. I'm not showing it with my face, but I am squeezing extremely hard. After I do 10 repetitions, my forearms are really, really sore. But again, you could do this exercise and just go really slowly like this and you wouldn't feel it at all. So you really gotta make sure that you're doing this with good, good intensity, putting a lot of effort into it. Okay, we will do, um, let's do twists. Perfect. Almost done, you guys, only about three minutes left. So if you've been doing this whole workout, great, great job. This is this is tough, I'm not gonna lie. It is pretty tough. I am sweating actually quite a bit. Perfect. Okay, five seconds, we'll do another one. Let's do forearm curls, so. Perfect. I've said perfect a lot, this workout, because it's been perfect. Okay, let's do it again. We will do extensions. Okay. Under two minutes to go. So if you've made it this far, great job. Keep, uh, keep doing it and we're gonna get it, you guys. Almost there. So we'll do the claw stretch. Again, remember to curl really strong and then just hold right there, you guys. This is another exercise that it is very hard if you do it correctly. If you really squeeze and you're squeezing as hard as you can, that's a very tough exercise to hold for a long period of time. Okay. Forearm curls. Perfect, 10 second break. Okay, twist. Again, we're almost done, you guys. Only a minute to go. Perfect, 10 second break. What actually, which one do I want to finish with? <laughs> I know which one. We will do finger extensions, 20 reps.
20. Great job. Comment in the comment section. I want to know how many of you guys did the whole workout and what did you think of the workout? Do you think it was easy? Did you think it was hard? So in the video, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.